A bold step in taking on homelessness in Portland and a concern for some neighbors at the same time. The Peninsula Crossing Safe Rest Village was unveiled today in St. John's. It will help up to 60 people living on the streets get shelter and transition into housing. Fox 12's Adrian Thomas has more on the side and why it's being met with mixed reaction. This new Safe Rest Village will be run by Urban Alchemy, the California based nonprofit partnering with Portland to run up to six sanctioned campsites or Safe Rest Villages across the city. Commissioner Dan Ryan, who oversees Safe Rest Villages, welcomed our crews and neighbors into the new site Thursday. And this humanitarian crisis has been very uncomfortable for a lot of people. And I think that today there's hope. Urban Alchemy has received $50 million from Portland to operate these sites and hire staff. The group says most staff in Portland are being found through local parole offices and sheriff's offices as Urban Alchemy's approach is to hire staff who were formerly incarcerated or homeless to give them a second chance and help their residents feel more comfortable. What we've generally found is that people with those kind of experiences are able to support um, the homeless community in ways that um, others might not be able to. We George Siebert is one neighbor who took a look inside the site Thursday. Here he is inside the village, just steps from that yellow house he's lived in for decades. He and his wife say they've been unhappy with what's happening because the village's bathrooms are feet from his windows. Five feet from our property, they are allowed to put structure. That's a city code and it applies anywhere, any kinds of structure. So this is what I look now. Staff with Portland's Safe Rest Villages program says the bathrooms at the Peninsula Crossing site were placed here to be close to water lines and other utilities. Staff also say the bathrooms and village as a whole are temporary because the land is being leased from the Portland Housing Bureau through June 2025. Commissioner Dan Ryan responded directly to George Siebert during his remarks. So know that for right now that's where they're located and I hope that they will be as quiet as they've been at the other sites and we'll be in communication with you and like I said earlier we have to get moving. You can see how George Siebert's house is just steps away from the Urban Alchemy site. He says at this point he's just hoping Urban Alchemy staff will communicate with him on a regular basis and address any concerns. They made a kind of effort to introduce themselves a couple of the people and they were very polite. We will see when the things will be rolling then we will find out how things are going. Now we don't know. Urban Alchemy staff say people will start to move into the site over the next week or two. Adrian Thomas, Fox 12 Oregon.